Good morning, St. Albert the Great. Father Estoc here for our weekly video chat. We're looking forward to the 29th Sunday of the year. And we are hearing this kind of a riddle, actually, of Jesus. And it's about Caesar and paying the tax. Uh, so what we find out from this story is that Jesus determines that we have to be obedient to the world in many ways, like science, doctors, principal, uh, teacher. We have to give ourselves over to uh, many authority figures in our lives. That's part of being a human. However, we have got to always keep a special place in our heart for our obedience to God. So that's an important lesson for us as we consider uh, the scriptures of this coming week and uh, I know the uh, uh, difficult time that we sometimes have in keeping things into balance. Sometimes we wonder, well, why do I have to do what he says or she says? You might have this with your parents sometimes, you know, uh, so that the Lord is encouraging us not to be confused. For very good reason, we have to be obedient to certain uh, people and authorities in the world. But we should never give over our obedience and our dedication to God. So as uh, Jesus says in the gospel today, if Jesus picked your life up like a coin and said, whose image is this that I see on this coin? We hope that others would say, well, that is the image of God. That child or that adult, that boy or girl, that priest, that teacher, I see on them the image of God. Well, Jesus says, then make sure that you give to God what belongs to God. So let's make sure that we always have in mind that we belong to God. Our hearts are God's. You know, St. Augustine said, my heart was made for you alone. And I will not rest until I rest in you. Let's make sure that we know that our hearts belong to God. And our obedience, however, has to be shared with many other important people in life. But never should we give in uh, to uh, giving our heart to anybody or anything other than God himself. All right. I hope you have a great week. And I'll uh, look forward to seeing you in church.